in this lesson we will learn how we can set up our graph inside the substance designer and how to set them up so what i will do here is that i will make a graph with pbr metallic roughness template so that we can get all the nodes by itself you can see we have all the nodes here and we will save it now inside our folder and I will save it as retro television. Now, what I'm going to do is that I will link the 3D mesh that we created inside Maya. And it will go inside the resources folder. And here it is. Let's drag and drop in the 3D view. And now we have it here inside the 3D view. So now I will bake it so that we can have the UVs. So I will keep the resolution of 4K and I will use a low as high definition. And I will add a baker map here. And I will use opacity mask. Let's turn this on. Use low as high definition. And then I will start rendering. And here we got our UV map inside Substance Designer. Now this will help us to create planes and it will be as a guide uh, map. So I will rename it to Capacity Map. I will drag and drop it here inside my graph view. And I will create an output from here inside the flood fill. So I can have the flood fill and then I will use another flood fill, which is flood fill to grayscale. So now what I will do here is that I will create a shape node and I will connect it to the grayscale app. Okay. But in between, I need a transform so I can control the size of it. Okay. Now you can see the transform is covering the whole thing. So whole map is showing. So let's turn off the tiling mode here of the transform. I will reduce the size of this transform. And wherever I will drag this, it will show only that part. So... I will create all these, copy, paste it, and just uh, move my transform to the other side. Okay. So this is the back side of the television. Then I will copy paste this again. Double click it here. Then I will move it again, move it down a little bit. And these are the other parts. So this is the bottom part. And this is basically the side part. So I have to increase the size of uh, of my shape so it can cover the whole thing so I can see the whole uh, sides, top and left and right sides. Then I will copy paste and put it up. Double click it here. And now what I will do, I will take my transformation here, reduce the size of it, move it down over the bottom part. Again, I will copy paste it. I will move it to the other side where I have this fuse, like television fuse or transformer, whatever it is. I will copy paste and move it up. Take this and put it on the antenna. So for the safe side, I will make it a little bigger so it will cover the whole thing. And I will add comments over here. Let me add all the comments first, then I will rename them one by one. OK, 
Okay, so what I will do here is that I will rename them accordingly. This will be the front. This will be the back. This will be the sides and the top. And this will be the bottom. And this will be the transformer or the fuse. And this is the antenna. And remember, transformer and the antenna UVs are stacked on top of each other. If I'll create one, all of them will be like created. So that's it. We got all of it. Now what I will do here is that I will choose my material as a as a tessellation. I will increase the tessellation here to 16. Okay, and for now we will keep it 10, but maybe uh we will increase it more like 95 or something so i will right click on the graph and choose view output in 3d view so we can see the whole thing now i will create a blend node here and i will use a transform grayscale sorry it's a uniform color grayscale and I will use 0.5 value, which is a mid uh, gray. And I will turn this into 16 bit. Usually colors can be 8 bit, but for the safe side, I will keep it 16 bit. And blend node, you have to make sure it's 16 bit. Otherwise, you will have unpredicted result. Now I will take this, press Alt over here, so it will create a small connector. I will remove these previous like uh, nodes from ambient occlusion from the height map and from the uh, like uh, I, I will add a uh, ambient my own ambient over here ambient occlusion and I will collect this like connect this new blend to the height map okay also to the ambient occlusion and then to the normal so these three things I have connected with this so the reason you will see that I have this gray is so that I can have a mid-level grayscale value so when I, I'm subtracting anything it can be subtracted easily or if I'm adding anything it can be added on top of it and will have a clear blend now let's add a frame I'll make the frame a little bigger here so it will take all these comments inside so when I move it, it moves with it and I have to move it a little bit far apart. And I will rename it UV Shells Mask. I will move it back. I will add a shape over here just to see if everything is working fine. I will add a disk shape here. And I will transform it so I can make it bigger or smaller. Okay, working fine for now. What I will do here is that I will go and display the UV on the 2D viewport. And on the 2D viewport, it's already on. The UV you can see is already on. I will just remove the tiling from the transform. Okay, just no tiling. And I will check if it is working fine. So this is my front. You can see it's working fine. This is the back side. It's working fine as well. These are the sides. Let's make it a little bit more smaller. And I'm sliding and you can see it's going through it. Don't worry about this gap because uh, it is completely white and we won't be uh, making something white because it's it have high uh like a uh, height map or like height depth 
so everything is working fine here as you can see this is bottom I will take you to the bottom part just to see if the bottom is working fine and this is the transformer and as you can see both are active because this UV is stacked on top of each other so if I will put it on one both will catch it up so I will just make it a square so I can put it on the antenna just to see if everything is fine and you can see the antenna from both sides from back and front there they have the height depth because they all are stacked on top of each other in the UV so that means everything is fine and I hope you have learned something with this uh, in this lesson and thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson I'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and I hope to receive your support continuously I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications I'm about to create uh, and if you like my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or question leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible and one request I have and that is I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that uh, or you find someone doing this then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me so I don't want to make tutorials just like with the demotivation so you all therefore uh, help me to get new subscribers for my motivation and I will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive your own training institute and thanks a lot for subscribing to my channel and becoming the member of Z Interactive premium membership plan